Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, F Shake Excel Master. I hope you guys are doing great today. And today's session is really exciting, where we are going to see how to print multiple PDF files by one single click. Yes, this is possible by macro. We usually come across a situation where you have a multiple PDF files kept in your desktop, and you like to print them on one go. This was been an excellent query being raised by one of my subscriber. Mr. Khan where he has a set of 10,000 files but he need to search and print only 200 files where these file names will be available in the list and he needs to print them. So I have written this code and this code will be available on my Facebook group page and you can download this macro file as well from the page uh, for training and educational purpose and but today we are going to see the logic behind this how it has been set so friends let us quickly see how are we going to print these documents multiple documents and understand how are we going to use this file so once you select the printer when you open the file it will be as a default printer print and uh, you can select the printer which you like to you can, so in my case I have selected max desktop printer PDF and the, get the list of the PDF files to get the list of the PDF files you need to keep this macro file in that folder where you want to get that PDF files so if you place it in the desktop you can retrieve all the documents which are in PDF from the desktop if you keep it in my documents then it will pick up all the documents which are available in the my documents so in my case I have kept it on C drive and I have created a test folder so it should read all these three documents and then it should print it so once I select the printer my default printer get the PDF files here I have the PDF files and their name and as soon as I select print PDF ready to print PDF yes as you can see it's opening PDF file has been printed and done to Mac desktop printer. Now, if I go to my Mac desktop, which I will show it to you, so, uh, this is my Mac desktop, and as you can see, this document has already been printed over here. Document 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. These all three documents have been printed on my Mac desktop. Once it has been printed, the status will automatically change to as done. So let us understand the logic and very one important thing which I like to share it with you before you proceed this file that uh, from the object file library it will check you know the folder and it will read the folder, the active part of that workbook and uh, it will get the list of that files and it will go into the loop till it doesn't get the last file so here I have put only the files which are as acrobat documents acrobat which is PDF documents so it will only accept the PDF documents and it will get the path and we can update the same and here you can see the PDF file once I select the printer if it is blank so it will not allow you to print it you know and I have written in detailed description regarding the code friends let me tell you one very important thing that once you download this file okay you need to select your adobe reader uh, file destination your program files where is exactly the reader is so that it can read it and it can execute it so i have already put the destinations for uh, adobe 10 reader 10 and reader 11 for a uh, professional version as well but in case if you have placed this file somewhere some have installed in D drive or E drive then you need to change that destination so I have selected in C drive you can see reader and this is my file destination I will copy it I will go here my usual basic and I will paste this one because some of uh, the users they are installing it in e drive then 
this will not work and it will give you an error so this is very important thing to run this file so please don't miss it so then it will count the cell and it will check whether it's going to the last row and if it is blank without extension then this will hold the file and if the number of extension is missing it will let you know and it will again hold the file here this is a message box which we have seen it is getting printed you can go in detail and you can review it I have mentioned all the comments over here and once it proceed for the printing it will take the shell z command where it will take the destination of your adobe uh, file where it has been kept and then it will print it as you can see i have put a pause for one minute because after printing 10 printout it will pause for a minute and then it will start printing the another batch so uh, this is helpful for keeping the life of the printer in good condition because if you print at one go 200 pages uh, or sorry 200 printouts then uh, it may hang your uh, your it may hang your printer and it's not for the good for the life of the printer so once it has been done you can see it will see the status that the printing has been done and it will come out of the system uh, so this file will be available for you my friends on my facebook page on the group so you can download it and uh, you can enjoy it and if you have any queries you can write back to me so but please keep in mind this is very important very very important step if you miss this step then this file will not work uh, I hope you guys you like this video so please share this video and push a like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and please join the group of FShake Excel Master on the Facebook and enhance the knowledge of power by sharing the knowledge let us do it together happy learning FShake Excel Master